good, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of the Producer's Life. I want to wish everybody a happy new year. And so today for this new year, man, we starting it off right. We're going to be cooking up a soulful, jazzy, you know, lounge type of record from scratch. Just something really smooth. Something similar like Paul Hardcastle. So hopefully I can create some fire for you guys. So I want you all to sit back, relax, and I want y'all to enjoy this beat making video. Let's go. All right, guys, so we're going to start this thing out with the drums. Now, usually I like to use addictive drums when it comes to, like, creating my own samples and stuff like that. But I actually found a dope preset right here in Machine. It's called the Jazzy Drums. Utilizing that rim shot snare. So we're gonna go ahead and utilize that. And also guys, the Roland XV5080 put up. Foundation of this, I wanna use that delicate EP, which is that FM piano for this beat. I do plan on actually adding in an electric piano for this also, but I want this to be our foundation. So let's go ahead and make this happen. What I'm thinking about doing is with that as the foundation, I want to layer that with like some dreamy electric piano notes on top of that. What I mean by dreamy notes is, is utilizing the sustain pedal. That's how you get that dreamy effect without actually using an effect on any of the channels. It's just you using the sustain pedal. So now it's time for us to add us a bass line in this track. What I'm going to do is for this bass line, I want to play it in a staccato type of way instead of sustaining those notes. Of course, for our bass line, we will be using Native Instruments Rickenbacker bass. And this is the idea which I got for this pattern is this. Something like that, and then towards the end of the bar, probably go up. Not bad, got a little tweaking to do with some of the notes. I think when I quantized it, it kind of like threw it off, um, which was probably a bad idea, but overall it sounds pretty good. But the next thing on this list is to add in a muted guitar. Now the muted guitar, I'm actually gonna play it somewhat similar to that bass line. I'll have it, you know, within those empty parts where the bass isn't hidden, if that makes any sense. But anyway, if you look right here on the screen, I got Hollyon SC pulled up and this is simply called muted guitar. It's like a generic guitar. <laughs> Got a nice touch of reverb on it. And uh, yeah, we're gonna lay it down pretty simple. So let's go ahead and do this. Keep it the same. For me to do like a switch up now i'm sure i probably could have but i feel like the bass line is playing so close to that bass line as you can tell the bass line is already doing switch ups i think it sounds pretty good in there now let's head over to the string section and for the string section once again i'm using Hollyon, and this string is called the ensemble strings now i'll probably talk about this a lot anytime i use Hollyon, i'm using the ensemble strings right out the gate because in my opinion probably the best strings on within Hollyon. i always like to use them because they sound extremely soulful that's why i like to use these a lot so we're gonna go ahead and keep the string pattern pretty simple we're gonna start at D and we're gonna end in D so something like this and the only reason that I'm keeping the string pattern pretty simple is we're gonna hold this D As you can tell with these strings, you can hear uh, like a smidge of tremolo in there. 
You can slightly hear it. So as I mentioned earlier to you guys in the video, I plan on adding in like some dreamy electric piano notes. So that's what we're about to do right now. Of course, I got addictive keys put up and I'm using the Mark I crystals. Stain pedal pushed in and this is what we got. Beautiful, dreamy sounding notes. So we're gonna lay something down for this part and uh, just try to make it sound as good as possible. to really complement that dreamy effect i definitely want to add like some reverb and maybe a little bit of gate onto that snare so right now i feel like the snare is like just too dry sounding and i think it would definitely um have a bigger impact on this record so let's add one more set of strings in here and this will be the background strings now for the background strings i'm going to add a different set of strings instead of using those uh, ensemble strings so right here in hylian i got the warm phaser strings put up and of course they have a phaser on it so this is what you get As you can tell, the phaser adds that dreamy effect also to almost anything, whether it be strings or bells and stuff like that. It can add a nice little touch to it. So we're going to use those on basically layer that um, FM piano, which I laid down earlier at the beginning. So let's go and do this, guys. Incredible. All right, guys, so I just sent a text to my homeboy who lays out all the saxophones and stuff like that for me. Currently not at home, but he told me he'll be home in a few hours. Hopefully, he'll get home in time to lay down something for me. I already sent him the track over by email. So like I said, hopefully he gets back in time where I can, you know, get this all finished up and edit it and have it uploaded by today for you guys. So we'll be right back. All right, guys, so it's around three right now. He just got back to me. And as you see right here on the screen, I got the saxophone right here. He did his thing on it. I'll play a little bit of it for you guys so you can hear it. But I want to make sure you guys hear it once it's all together when I do the arrangement of it. But this is what he uh, did for me. <laughs> So yeah, it sounds pretty dope. What we're about to do right now is we're gonna go ahead and get all of this arranged so you guys can check out what this finished product's gonna sound like. So let's get to it. So that wraps up today's beat making video. What y'all think? I think it came off fire. I mean, obviously the saxophone took the beat to like level 20. You know what I mean? Like it took it up like a whole bunch of notches. Like from what I had, I thought about pitching it up, you know, and playing around with the pitch, but I figured I'd just leave it as it is. You know what I'm saying? But it sounds incredible. You guys let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's beat making video, go ahead and give it a like, give it a thumbs up and do all that good stuff. And if you haven't subscribed, Please make sure you do because I will be coming back with another beat making video this week. And I want to thank everybody for watching and kicking with your man Big Boy Tracks right here at the Producers Life. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.